Welcome back. This is Cry Wolf playing Dawn of Man. We are building the new town of Old Wolf Town, which, I mean, if you know anything about history, Wolf Town was like just this really great town um, in the medieval times and uh, New Wolf Town in the Americas, you know. So this is Old Wolf Town. This is, uh, uh, you know, somewhere in the in the Doggerland that's gone under the, the North Sea now. Um, we are going to be playing on the Frozen Valley location, which is here, and we are going to do Starting Condition Nomad. We are going to walk to a location that I have found on the map that I uh, that I deem to be favorable for uh, setting up a new town and for, for building the city that we want to build. So let's just jump right into it here. So we are going to walk our cold little butts all the way up here. And look at those mammoths. We are not nearly strong enough to take those out. Let's start on speed one here. We'll just get stuff moving a little bit. Let's uh, plop this down. Actually, let's move that a little bit. Let's plop this down right about here. Let's get our storage. You know how I like my storage. Get our storage there. That looks good. Let's throw down stick collection. We've got a, a nice amount of sticks here. We'll put three people on that. Bump it up to 20. We're going to need a lot of sticks, boys. Need a lot of sticks. All right. Let's see where our flint is at. Looks like that's our only one in the local area. So we'll grab that. That's fine. <coughs> we do have a large amount of easily collectible stone one is fine and then here we can actually hit three three which is really nice it's really nice so what else do we need to build here we need a couple of tents because we have no population capacity we're going to need at least three so i'm going to build four Um, let's do this. One, two. Oh no. Just kidding. One, two, three, and four. And that should give us enough space between so we can put a row of ten huts this direction. We're gonna we're gonna run our huts um, uh, perpendicular to the initial um, starting production zone, and then we will toss down a storage tent, which will eventually be moved. Um, actually, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna toss it down like here. It will eventually be moved. Um, I believe once we get this uh, <coughs> this kind of cleared out we will be setting up a main production zone in this kind of open area here. And then we've got plenty of room for farmlands here. We've got room for farms here. We've got room for farms here. So we've got a ton of space for farms. And we do not want to mess with these mammoths. They are, they are way too strong for us right now. Um, let's set up some food collection. Make sure that we get three people on that right away. Once, uh, once it's time for that. And let's grab one on this side too. And let's see if we've got any on this side. Yes, we do. All right. So we've got a couple of good sources of food that could be coming our way. Um, we are starting off in the winter, so that's a little painful. And they decided not to, you know, take the, take the land bridges over, but just swim. Just That's fine. It's fine. And we are going to need skin dryers. It's going to be one of the first things we really need here. <coughs> yeah, please prioritize huts. Thank you. We really need the those huts built up first. The, the storage hut is... I mean, that's a priority, but I think... I think we need to, you know, get skin dryers up before we get 
the storage hut. Let's try to burn through whatever resources we can. So let's let's do our standard setup here. We've got our, our sorted materials. <coughs> um let's put Yeah, I know I have no storage. Let's uh yeah, that's fine. We don't we don't need anything else there. We've got our metrics up here. Let's put our workload chart here. And let's put our defenses up here. Let's go through and let's manage our limits. Um, we don't really want to have a limit on this. So we'll turn this to infinity. Those are good on infinity. Let's bump these down to three. We're not really going to be making bread anytime soon. Let's turn those to that. <coughs> um, let's take these to zero. I just don't want anything gumming up the production. Turn that to infinity. Turn this to infinity. 10 and 10. Um, logs at 20. That's fine. Um, <coughs> 20 there is good. 20 there is good. Uh... We're not even collecting tannins yet, so this doesn't really matter. 20. 20. Do infinity on this. Infinity on that. 10. 10. Uh, we'll leave all those production limits for now. We don't, we don't need to worry about that. So for spears, what do we want for spears? In the initial beginning of the game, we want 100%. For knives, we want about 75%. For axes, we want 25%. For fishing gear, we want 25%. For sickles, we want 100%. For picks, we want 25%. For bows, I want 100%. For swords, we'll take those to zero for now. Um, I guess we'll, I guess we'll maybe make some slings. I, I don't usually use slings. Take those there. Um, turn that to 75%. Carts at zero. Plows at zero. Zero, 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 zero. Okay, cool. We are set up, and we have our first tent. We have our first knowledge points coming in. Um, in order to create more skins to build the buildings we need, we are going to need a skin dryer. So let's set up how do we want to do this? Let's put let's put the skin dryers on this side. Three is fine. And we do need to find something to hunt because we need skins. So it's gonna be a little tough without um, without anything, we'd pretty much need the entire group to take out a bear. Let's see if we can't hunt some of these young reindeer. <coughs> okay. So, we... What do we want to start off here? How do we want to start our game? I think uh, I think it would probably be wise to start off with the food dryers. That would uh, alleviate the burning of fuel. That's a typical starting play that I'll do. The other starting play I'll do is dog domestication, dog training right away. Um, that can be useful for hunting early game. Um, I think I like the, uh, the food dryer play, though. I think that's, I think that's good. There is a boar here. I don't think we can take this. This is, it's way too strong. Way too strong. So unfortunately, they put the the two dry skins there. It's not really ideal. Let's 
Looks like we do have somebody going to go catch the reindeer. Let's see if he's successful. Our first hunt. Alright, we got it. And he's getting the other one too, dang. Look at you go, man. That's two skins for us, great. Let's get those butchered up and brought over. That's awesome. And are you going to get sticks? Okay. <laughs> and that <coughs> is our first thing. So let's grab that. And let's immediately plop down. Three. Usually um, you want to try to work for those those knowledge points early game. Um, for food dryers, the first one is one. For skin dryers, it's one, then three. So we want to make sure that we get all the knowledge points we can early game to help us progress. <coughs> Unfortunately, we've got some bears around us. That's uh, That is less than good. So seeing as those young reindeer were so easy to kill, how much hit points do you got? 85? And what's an adult got? Yeah, that's like... I don't know that we'll be able to take an adult without chasing them halfway around the world, but... You can definitely kill their babies. And the next thing we're going to need is going to be the crafter. We're going to need that pretty soon here. that there. Now this this first little bit here is temporary until we can start chopping wood. Um, we don't uh, yeah we don't want to make our main base here. That's I don't think a good spot for it. Might be a good spot for putting stables at some point though. Here's another young one. Let's just hunt those reindeer. They're going to be hanging out, right? Why not, right? Survive the winter. Excellent. <clears throat> now, in the Northlands campaign, um, basically, uh, the main things you got to worry about is frostbite, so getting the warm clothing, getting that production up and running is a priority. So we are going to want to hardcore go after sheep um, and get that get that taken care of. Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Let's see how much hit points these guys have. 125, that might be a little risky. I don't know that we'll be able to get that. 112 for the young females. Let's try to get those. And we know we have no storage slots. Thank you, though. Cool, we've got some skins drying. <laughs> We're looking good. We got our first food dryer. We want to make sure to get that food dried up as fast as we can. Are we successful? I thought I heard killing going on. An adult oryx is going to be way too much for our hunters right now. <coughs> yeah, so, start of a new game. This is pretty fun. Pretty good. We have got some young cave lions. 110. Yeah, that's... Those cave lions could be an issue. Are these cave lions going after the Mufon? No? No 
we could go after the MUFONs. And I think we should. We need to just be hunting as much as we can here, because uh, running out of food at this point in the game is a very real possibility. We definitely want to try to avoid that if we can. We're going to be running crazy high workload. Alright, looks like our storage tent is going up. Excellent. So let's toss that on there. Looks like you got injured. How did you get injured? No, you're gonna you're gonna come kill this thing. Cool. Okay. Let's see if we can't hunt some more animals here. Looks like we're doing pretty well. This is kind of annoying that we don't have like a little land bridge here to get over. So we are going to want to get to get to stilting. <coughs> Sorry. Pretty much as soon as we're able to, we're going to want to get that to help boost our efficiency. So let's go ahead and grab the dog domestication. It's not going to do a whole lot for us right now. Um, but it will lead to dog training, which will help us with hunting, which is great. We really want to focus on getting those skins up, getting the, getting the animals. Yeah. Guys, they're in our camp. Please. Why you not kill them? I suppose they're going to gather other food. And is this our first dog? Oh my gosh. Our first dog. Um, I am going to tell you to, no, don't go get strawberries. Go. I really wish that I could tell them to... to do what I want them to do. We are getting lots of fruits and vegetables, which is nice. Eventually that'll turn into knowledge points at some point. Yeah, this game starts off pretty slow. Let's just speed eight. Just let it sit here. not really a whole lot for us to be doing right now. I did, we're already at 300% workload. <clears throat> I'm sorry I keep clearing my throat. Yeah, so we basically just need to let the workload um, catch up. And that's not ideal. That person's dead. That person is for sure dead. Holy shit, did he survive? Oh my god, did he survive? That's amazing. How did you survive that, sir?
Reindeer has escaped. Unfortunate. Okay. <coughs> Animals are escaping. Not great. Not ideal. Oh, there are mammoths there. That would be so nice. Be so nice to get some mammoths. The mouflon has escaped, but here is that the same one maybe? <clears throat> we are already in fall. It's warm. I guess it's a warm fall. And it's cooling down. And somehow... Oh, it's a traitor. I thought it was... Okay. Huh. Well, they have some cured meat. We don't really have a lot that we want to trade quite yet. Um, I guess we could get rid of two bones for some meat. I, I'm really kind of worried about running out of food. It's been a year almost, and we haven't uh, we haven't really done what we need to do. So we need to turn this on priority. So we're gonna we're gonna run out of hunting tools. We've only got one wooden spear to hunt with, and that's that's a problem. <clears throat> okay. So we're just kind of waiting for these to dry. <clears throat> we are just collecting so many sticks here. It seems like we're constantly out, so let's maybe bump that up. Alright, looks like we just need one more dry skin. We're almost there. Please, 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 go get it. We need it. And we do need to start producing tools pretty much right away here. We had just enough to get set up and then... You know, after that, we're, we're done. We've got plenty of food. So maybe I didn't need to trade for that food. Who knows? Let's turn those all on automatic. Just start bumping up our production. <clears throat> They're making a skins outfit instead of tents. Nice. Okay. Seems fine. And our fruit is starting to decay. That's alright. Rather have it and lose it than never have it and waste all of our other food. Seeing as we've only got one spear, hunting is a little difficult. Our hunter's just going to be real busy. <clears throat> cool. We are making a lot more spears. That is excellent. Please stop prompting me with that. I don't care. I know they're decaying. Awesome. I don't know what that is. 
protein hoarding. Okay, don't know what that is. We can look though. Protein hoarding. Accumulate five units of cured meat and dry fish. Cool. We did it! Alright, let's hunt. Let's get this boar. <clears throat> we got a lone reindeer out here. Maybe we can catch that. Uh, don't mail orcs? Why is that? That's weird. Okay. Usually those are red, aren't they? <clears throat> Alright, so what is the next thing we want here? Uh, we are going to run into the problem of not having anything for spirituality other than skull poles, which we could toss up a skull pole. Not really a fan of the skull pole. But let's build one. Our people are going to start losing morale pretty soon, so we want to make sure that we get that get that all sorted out. <coughs> cool, cool. Um, all right, so let's grab let's grab sling making. It's not a typical hacking path that I do, but that's okay. Turn those on auto. We need a lot of skins here. Cool. We've hunted five reindeer. Excellent. Okay. What else do we got? Kill some baby donkeys. Dang. How much health do you have? 153. That's a lot. Okay. Cool. So something that I want to be more aware of in this game is um, watching our our primitive tool production and making sure that we are at least getting a couple of tech points out of these. So um, making sure that we get some tech points for wooden harpoons and for wooden spears. Even though they're not really the most useful things, um, it's useful for the knowledge point. So. That's something that I, I kind of neglected last game, and um, I mean it was fine. It wasn't, it wasn't like a huge deal, but it could have made progressing through the game maybe just a little bit easier. So it looks like we may already have a need for additional skin dryers. So let's go ahead and place three more. Oh my gosh, we're getting all kinds of stuff. Alright, so even though we're not going to make bone tools right away, let's research that. Another cave line, come on man. Trying to kill my babies? What are you doing that for? Let's try to grab uh, the, the only two adults. Nope, killed our baby. That sucks. That really sucks. Okay. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. It's unfortunate. And we've got nowhere to bury them. 
which I think right up here would be a nice little spot that's pretty central. So we'll put some burial mounds kind of on the side, and maybe we will end up putting like um, a stone circle or a cairn up on the top of there at some point. It'd be pretty cool. Yep, just kind of doing it. All right, well, let's uh, let's put a cut here in the video. Um, I think I've been going for probably about a half hour here. Uh, well, if you are returning after seeing my first series, welcome back. Thank you for uh, continuing the support. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate the support. Uh, check out the Dawn of Man tutorial. Um, I did a full run through the tech tree on the, excuse me, on the tutorial. Um, yeah, so we're looking pretty good so far. We've only lost, we've only lost one person. We'll put it, Old Wolf Town. That's the name of our city. Cool. All right. Well, thank you for joining me, and uh, see you in the next episode.